All right, we're gonna chat about gold mask. So you can get the gold mask by itself or the very first time you get it, I suggest getting it in the collection. Um, so you can get the gold mask collection and that comes with this super cute headband and it's got the Velcro. I'm gonna put this on and then you get your own little spatula. It has Synagins on it and you can use this for your detox mask as well. Um, you can also apply this with your hands, totally fine. I think it's fun to apply it like this around my nose. I'll show you, I use my fingers a little bit. Okay, so you go ahead, you can put on your head wrap and then we are going to start applying our gold mask to a clean face. So if you're doing this in the morning, your face is clean. Um, if you're doing it at night, make sure you take your makeup off because you don't want to put it over your makeup. Okay, so you open it up and you just start squeezing it out like that. And you just start rubbing it on. It's like a cooling sensation. Do not do it on your eyelids. And you can do it under your eyes, but don't get too close because this is going to be a peel off mask. So you'll start to kind of figure out how thick to put it. So like an example, I'm gonna make it really thin. That is too thin. That is good. And you'll figure it out because the first time you go to peel it off, if it's too thin, it's gonna take you a lot longer to peel it off. If it's thicker, it's going to peel off um, in kind of one big chunk. So we're getting to the end of it. So I do have my scissors because I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I get to the end you're gonna get every last drop from this mask. So when you get to the end, you can chop it off and you probably have about one to two masks still in there and you just put it in a baggie and you'll be good to go. So just make sure you keep it closed. But we're getting, like I said, we're getting to the end. So I'm gonna think we'll have enough for this last mask because it's crazy how many are in there. Okay, be careful around your eyebrows because you don't wanna be pulling those babies off. But if you do it in the middle, it's it doesn't hurt like a wax or anything like that, but it kind of can take off some of the middle brow hair, which is kind of fabulous. So I put it on my nose. If you need to, just kind of like use your finger to get it in there. And I'm gonna do underneath because that's, I dropped some on the counter. We're just gonna scoop it up. If I can get it scooped up. Put some around there. And this is so fun for all ages. So look at that like thickness, that's what you want. And you'll figure it out. After you do it the first time, you'll be like, oh goodness, I probably should do it a little thicker. I think that's what everybody does. They they don't know. Um, and you'll, you'll figure it out. You'll get used to, you'll get in the hang of it. You go all around your face. And you don't have to do it all over. If you want to just do it in your T-zone, that's totally fine too. Um, I think we're gonna have enough for this one. It's crazy how many masks are in here. I would say about 10 to 15 masks. It really does just depend if you're gonna do your full face and how thick you put it. So now we're just gonna let it dry. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you guys how I peel it off. And you'll start to kind of feel it gets a little hard. You'll know because what happens is it'll start kind of coming, peeling off your face. I'll show you guys. But all right, that's how you do it. Okay, it's been about 20, 30 minutes and you can see it is starting to peel off. So um, you will, like I said, you'll know um, when it starts doing this, especially around if you're talking. And so what you're gonna do is you're just basically gonna peel it off. And so you can see the like thickness was good because look at that, it's peeling it all off. And you just grab a little piece and peel. Probably could have left that one on a little bit longer. It was a little bit thicker there, but otherwise you just go around and you just, like I said, you just kind of, there you go, get that one little spot 
and it peels off and your skin is going to feel so soft afterwards. So then after this, then you can go in and sometimes I like to just grab my face wash and just give my face a little wash just because there's a little bit of like gold residue that, you know, obviously is on there that you, you could peel it off, but you can do like a washcloth or you can wash your face and then go in with all your skincare treatments and your skincare treatments are going to go so deep into your skin because you are um, kind of doing a little exfoliation. You are um, you are just getting that, like I said, like whenever I talk about exfoliation, you're getting that dead skin cell, the, the top layer of the dead skin cells off. And then that way your skincare is just going to go so much deeper in your skin. It's fabulous. And your face is going to feel so, so, so smooth when you go to put your makeup on. It is going to go on so, so smoothly. So I'm going to finish peeling this off and I'm ready to go.